It is the leading cause of disability, so common, one half of all working Americans will complain about it this year. We're talking about back pain, the wrenching, stabbing, debilitating feeling that has millions of us running to the doctor. But relief may be in sight with two new significant medical breakthroughs. Are you from the Delaware area? Or? Actually, I'm originally from Memphis, Tennessee. Bill Plow walks pain-free these days, a far cry from his life two months ago. I just couldn't stand up any longer than about 10 minutes, and I was doing 150 financial literacy seminars a year. And it got to the point where I just couldn't stand up to do the seminars. Plow underwent a new high-tech surgery at Delray Medical Center to treat his debilitating spinal pain. Here's how it works. Based on a patient's CT scan, the surgeon creates a customized surgical plan. A blueprint of the procedure is then reviewed in a virtual 3D model. So when the surgeon enters the OR, he has already simulated the entire surgery and knows exactly what to expect. Dr. Stuart Idelson says it improves accuracy and precision. Think of it as your GPS in the car. We all were able to get somewhere in the past using maps. But GPS, you couldn't imagine now not using that to get places. In the operating room, the Missouri robotic system is actually a passive robot. It's a guidance system that works with you. So the precise placement, particularly in his case, are screws and hardware. Remarkably, you had this surgery only five weeks ago. Yes. And you, look at you. You look great. It's amazing. Within 10 days, I was walking in my house, and now I'm walking two and a half miles a day, and it's no pain whatsoever. Compared to this model where we see movement above and below. Dr. David Campbell is an orthopedic surgeon at Jupiter Medical Center. He says the future looks great for patients suffering from cervical spinal pain. For 90 years, there was only one option, to remove the damaged disc and fuse the vertebrae together. But now the FDA has approved a total disc replacement. We can remove the disc that's diseased and replace it with a moving structure, almost like putting a ball bearing in that allows the spine to continue moving, keeps it stable. It allows the patient to be physically active and prevents some of the complications that we would worry about for fusion surgery. It's really amazing. And the main one is that you can minimize the risk that the other discs that haven't been operated on will wear out prematurely.